What's up, if you've been waiting for a video that breaks down the key points you should be looking for when you're disputing things like charge-offs, collections, late payments, repossessions, bankruptcy, then this is that video and the beauty of YouTube is that this video idea was actually given by a subscriber. They said you should also create a checklist to identify all negative items in a credit report for newbies like me. And this means if you're looking at a charged off account, what are the key points that we should consider when reading the credit report? So that is what we're going over today. And I've given you all the training that you actually need, all the answers to the training so that you can learn how to do this yourself. And I'm even giving you part one as well as dispute letter tactics and its overview. And I'm going to show you exactly where to access this, but you're going to want to stay to the end of the video because you don't want to miss it. Now, before we get started, I want to let you know that I posted a video yesterday, Saturday the 12th at 8 p.m. That's really, really important because it explains why credit repair is illegal in the state of Georgia, All right? So this is that video right there. And you're also going to want to check out how to remove every charge off from your credit report, which is right next to it. So let's jump right into this. We have the very first training, choose the recommended account elements to dispute a charge off. And this is for removal and outside of blatant inaccuracies. We have date last active, date last paid, first date of delinquency, notice a dispute, existence of it within 30 days from the date of first receipt of letter, activity after the close date, date last reported, late payment history, and high balance is lower than balance. Here's the beauty of this. Every single one of those is correct. So this is a checklist. So you are just going to check off each of those. Which of these are not recommended to dispute a charge off for removal unless blatantly inaccurate? Balance, limit, terms, status, high balance, type, and open date. Again, every single one of those is correct. These are at the bottom of the hierarchy. You do not want to use these unless it is your last resort. All right. Choose the recommended reasons to dispute a late payment. And this is for correction and outside of blatant inaccuracies. Inconsistent reporting between two to three credit bureaus. And this would be like remove the late payments between date and date because Experience shows 30 or 60, 90 on dates, but Equifax shows 30 or 60 or 90 on dates and TransUnion shows 30 or 60 or 90 on dates. B, oldest late payment dispute. So this would be where you say, I was not late on date removed for inaccuracy. Now, both of these are correct. To dispute late payments to remove an account, you wanna find the oldest late payment and dispute it as inaccurate. And this is true. And again, I give you the solution sheet so you don't have to go and try to, you know, figure this out yourself, okay? To remove a bankruptcy, you should find the inaccuracies in the following, the court name, filing date, and docket number. That's going to be true. To remove an inquiry, you should send a no permissible purpose dispute letter to the credit bureaus and dispute directly with the data furnisher using a proof of authorization dispute. That is true. To remove a third-party collection, you should send the validation of debt letter series, that's four letters, directly to the collecting, uh, excuse me, collection agency and dispute with the credit bureaus using the unknown series. And this is only one relevant per my video series. That is true. To remove a debt buyer collection, check off the dispute reasons that'll give you the highest chance of removal. In other words, the big guns. Late payments on a collection account. I mean, obviously, the account is late by default, right? Past due on a collection account. The account is past due by default. Hello. Date last active and payment history. Each of those are going to be true. And then here, again, is where we place um, these in order for the dispute hierarchy. One is most impactful and 11 is least. Okay, so first date of delinquency, high balance, lower than the balance, past due, date last reported, status update date, activity after the close date, after account was charged off, open date, balance, date last active, notice a dispute, limit, and date last paid. So you're going to see down here that number one is date last active, two, date last paid, three, notice a dispute, four, first date of delinquency, five, date last reported or status update date, Six, activity after the close date, after the account was charged off. Seven, high balance is lower than the balance because the high balance is the highest the balance ever was. So how could it possibly be lower than the balance? Eight, past due. Nine, balance. Ten, open date. Eleven, limit. All right. So 
Now, when we go over to our dispute letter tactics, now before we go any further, I'm going to explain where you can access this. You're going to go to bio.my740.com or you can even access it at bio.ask-kristen.com. You're just going to click on store and it's going to be on this page. So you're going to see three things on here when I post it instead of just two. All right. What is the maximum number of accounts that you should be disputing per letter? What is the correct order from easiest to remove to most difficult? And we have late payments over two years old, charge-offs, foreclosures and repossessions, student loans, bankruptcy, so on and so forth. And then you should never dispute online because you give up your rights under section 623 and section 611. And then that is a true or false. So here we go. What is the maximum number of accounts that you should dispute per letter? The answer to that is 10 unless it's medical and with medical it is unlimited. What is the correct order from easiest to remove to most difficult? So number one is going to be medical collections. Number two, utility bills and other third party collections. Three, judgments and tax liens. Four, late payments over two years old. Five is inquiry. Six is late payments less than two years old. Seven is debt buyer collections, eight is charge-offs, nine foreclosures and repossessions, and 10 student loans and 11 bankruptcy. Now, as far as never disputing online, it is true. You should never dispute online because you are giving up your rights under section 623 and section 611. Listed below are dispute tactics for round one. All right, and again, we are gonna go over the overview of tactics. Now, this is going to make sense where it says to credit bureau, FCRA, to creditor, FCBA. We're gonna look at the definitions here. We have the overview of tactics. So you're gonna review each item on a client's credit report or your own, and if you're using an advanced management system like Client Dispute Manager or even mine, the process is simplified because you will have a resource that's consistent and designed for this purpose, all right? So the theory of multiple tactics is simple. If each tactic is successful 20 to 30% of the time, you are consistently following up and being persistent, eventually each item will be removed. And quite often, it'll take multiple tactics, time sequentially to be successful knowing that you are empowered with an arsenal of tactics that will provide you or your client with the best possible odds is important. So this is what a goodwill letter is. This is what a FCBA info request is. This is what a FCRA info request is. This is what a FDCPA info request is. Original creditor validation, debt validation, repossession series, HIPAA series, and the QWR RESPA series, okay? Method of verification, angry, educated consumer, demands and last notes. Okay, so the philosophy is this. Let's say that a credit bureau dispute will only work for 5 or 10% of the time or even 20%. Let's say that a goodwill approach will work for 5 or 10% of the time. And let's say that the angry, educated consumer approach will work for 5 or 10% of the time. The FCBA, the same. The FDCPA validation, the same, etc. If you keep trying these disputes, Somewhere down the line, you're going to clean it up. And in many cases, trade lines can call for multiple tactics from the above outline, okay? So that's what a lot of people fail to understand and realize. If it were as simple as just one tactic or just one letter or just one anything, I wouldn't have 800 videos that break this down and explain this all to you, okay? So if you want an easy way to basically learn how to remove these by understanding what to look for, and then you're going to want to check out this bulletproof dispute letter training. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Again, to access this, click on store at bioask So that's it. I will see you tomorrow. Have a great one. Bye.